is lost, they are there. Hi, Hi. we're from the Red Cross. It's always where we're needed. And today, you can be there too. I literally lost this all. To help during some of life's darkest moments. Red Cross was the only one there for us on the scene when this occurred. There was no one else there offering help. Good morning, I'm Ryan Baker. Today is Giving Tuesday, a really big day here at CBS it's 2 Chicago. It's finally here. We're so excited. I'm Audrina Vegas in for Aaron Kennedy. All day we were partnering with American Red Cross for our annual Day of Giving Telethon. And the phone lines are now open. Yeah, take a look at our volunteers. They're ready to take your call. Matter of fact, they're already taking calls, which is fantastic. You guys are on it right away. Meteorologist Megan Gleros is live at the fire station on West 69th Street in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood where we'll be giving away free first alert fire extinguishers. We'll check back in with Megan in just a little bit. Yes, we will. Every eight minutes, the American Red Cross responds to a disaster. Every bit helps. A $10 donation provides a hot meal and additional snacks to someone who may not otherwise eat. More than 6,000 people have already been helped, but the need is still there. And joining us right now is Joy Squire, communications officer with the Chicago Red Cross and Northern Illinois. Joy, tell us about the need. Why is this day of giving so important for the Red Cross? This day of giving is important. Important because the Red Cross is out in the community each and every day. We respond to 1,200 fires locally here in the Chicago and northern Illinois suburbs. We collect 40% of the nation's blood supply. We help our local service members and we respond to national disasters and provide international humanitarian aid. And it is the generosity of the donors that make this possible. So please help us this Giving Tuesday. We really need it and appreciate it. Joy, the Red Cross is known for stepping in in that moment of crisis when people feel like they have nothing or nowhere to turn to, but you also prevent tragedies, whether it's fire detectors, uh, people donating blood, all of the money raised today is going, is going to go towards all of those things, but people think I have to write a big check, I have to come and make a big check presentation. The small donations add up too, don't they? Every dollar counts. $5 helps a family with a blanket and support after a home fire. $50 helps shelter two people in uh, food, clothing, shelter when there's a disaster that hits like a big hurricane. $21 is a reconnection workshop for military. There's so many ways you can help. $15 is a smoke alarm, as you said. So. Every little bit helps, and we really need people to come out and help us today on Giving Tuesday. Well, thank you so much. I've been on so many house fires, tornadoes, and the Red Cross is right there. And we're just so grateful for all the work you guys do. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yeah, large or small will take the donations, but if you're feeling extra generous, you know, don't hold back. <laughs> yes, like that don't soft hold back. money, right? <laughs> Donate as much as you can. One thing we know for sure CPR saves lives. And while more than 100,000 Red Cross volunteers are trained in life saving skills, the American Heart Association reports that 70% of Americans feel helpless in a cardiac emergency because they just don't know what to do. So the American Red Cross helped us out with some CPR training. Ryan, Megan, Yasmin, they got the skills they need to perform a life-saving procedure when it's needed the most. Ah, uh, ah, uh, on my count. Ready? Go. One, two, three, four. Slow it down. To my clock, slow it down. An expert Red Cross instructor came to CBS 2. Go. Are you okay? Tap the shoulders. Are you okay? And our morning team quickly learned. <laughs> it's harder than it looks, yeah. really. It's like, okay, that was a workout. There's a lot to learning CPR. There's a lot you have to keep track of, and you really do need to know what you're doing. These classes are great. Press a little harder. You can hear it clicking. Well, I would think, like, I'm going to break something, but she was like, no, yeah. you need to get in there. You need to push harder. So I wouldn't have known that. Mm -hmm. on my own. The training kicks in knowing, like, you know, check the area, uh, send somebody for help. You know, you get your 30 compressions, the rescue breaths, and it's all, like, happening super quick. What was it like before you came here? What did you have to do? It was an online course. It was tedious, but you know what? Saving someone's life is important. But this course is all about checking their skills to make sure they know, without a shadow of a doubt, what they're doing. From chest compressions to checking for responsiveness. Below one big rescue breath, come up for air. Below again. Rescue breathing. And knowing what's inside and how to use these kits to help adults. Roll the baby gently. Apply the pad on the back and babies. How do we check the baby for responsiveness? The bottom of the foot. But you have to be calm, cool, and collected, yeah. and remember this, this training and save a life. This kind of seems like just a general human skill. Like right. Probably everybody should learn it because you never know. 
The Red Cross offers online classes or hands-on in-person instruction just like you saw there and the CPR certification lasts for two years. It is just about 6.05 this Tuesday morning. As you can see, our phone lines are open and ready to take your call. The number to call right at the bottom of your screen. Take a look. It's right there. You can also head to CBSChicago.com or text the Red Cross. Every financial donation, as we said, no matter the size, large or small, brings hope to people in the time of need. Is that well, Staley taking calls too? Look yes, at he is. <laughs> we'll get more shots of him later. We'll also be giving away 400 free Free first alert fire extinguishers at the Chicago Fire Station. It's the one at 2240 West 69th Street in the Chicago Lawn neighborhood. The giveaway begins at 10:30 this morning, and that'll go until we run out.